Well, not, not massively. They're cer certainly not. We don't view those guys as being significant competitors of ours for, for stock. Um, I mean, clearly every asset that we look at, um, there's a competitive set. Um, so we're not the only person putting putting a bid in. You know, we often find ourselves bidding against very similar fund management businesses uh, rather than, than, than larger larger reads. Certain UK regions um, are offering some, some pretty pretty good, good good value propositions at the moment. Uh, not necessarily the obvious places, not necessarily Birmingham and Manchester, which are pretty well priced now. You know, Bristol's an interesting city, Leeds is a very interesting city. Um, retail, as you know, is, is more a national story. Um, so retail is less about investing in a certain city. Um, because investing in retail in Bristol, Cardiff, Liverpool, Preston even, you know, you're still getting a, a, a access to, to retail. So that's a very different picture. So you should never really view retail as, as purely a play on the city. It's different to the office markets. Um, moving out outside of UK regions, tier two, tier two cities in, uh, in Germany. Uh, we understand pretty well. Spain, Spain is a city where you know, we, we will almost certainly invest at some point this year, um, largely largely through through Uli's, Uli's business. I would I would expect rather than a sovereign or an Asian pension uh, pension pension capital source. Um, again, we would be very selective, incredibly selective. You know, we would stick to the major cities if we were moving into the office space. So the major cities you are thinking about we, 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 look, we look at we'd look at Barcelona and Madrid if we were moving this year in the in the office space. If however if we're moving into retail space we'd look at extremely well let, excellent quality uh, shopping centres. You could probably buy into a prime shopping centre for uh, six and a half percent, seven percent. Yeah, and, and if you look at tenant sets, you know these these are international, stroke European retailers. Okay, um, what we've seen is a significant change in the strategy that retailers are, under, are undertaking. So. Ten years ago, the strategy of retailers used to be we want to be in the top 400 cities or 400 towns, and then we'll move to another country. Now it's like, look, let's get in the top, the top 20, top 50 shopping centres. Let's have a significant online presence, and then we're going to move abroad. Okay, so it's a very, very different business growth, business growth strategy. Um, the well let, well let shopping centres. You know, we wouldn't look at anything that had a um, in Spain that had a, uh, a vacancy rate of more than fifteen percent. We'd be quite comfortable with something up to about fifteen percent. We've got we've got the skill sets and we know the, the partners that we would work with. We're doing both, um, and it's very much driven by investors. It's very much driven by what the investors are looking for. So again, in our strategic outlook paper, we talk about strategies in relative safe haven markets still and that in, in the UK that includes central London, very well that's in central London, where pricing has risen significantly. Uh, there are certain clients for whom that, that type of asset would, would fit. If you're underwriting on a 20 or 30 year time horizon, these assets are going to sit maybe in a family office or just 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 sovereign wealth protection. Then you know, the cycle is less is less relevant. You know, that risk premium, I mean yet yes it's important and yes it's monitored but it becomes less critical.